to show you something that I discovered during what I now refer to as Pocket Scarf Boot Camp. <laughs> and there were a lot of positive, good things that came from that. Not just the incredible feeling, but also um, mother of invention. Okay, this in this case, it was indeed necessity that was the mother of invention rather than laziness on this, this count. Uh, what I needed to do in creating many pocket scarves in a very short period of time was come up with the fastest way to produce. And one of the things that I love, uh, I love the waffle stitch. I modified it. The reason why I modified it was because I needed a lot of pocket scarves in a short period of time. Nice, um, a nice unisex garment because uh, we did make pocket scarves for men and women. And if you're looking to make a manly, manly kind of an item, the waffle stitch is perfect. However, because of boot camp, needed to do that quickly. So I modified the waffle stitch according to how I stitch. And I'm going to show you how I did that, uh, how it's faster and, and faster for me. The way that I shape my stitches, it was faster in that. And I'll also show you how it was faster in actually producing a, a quicker, larger piece of material with those two combined. Quicker stitch shaping as well as ending with a larger fabric. So here we go. The waffle stitch. Okay, with the waffle stitch. This is some of my leftover yarn. This is actually, this is Pacific by Cascade. To chain two. Waffle stitch. I do a foundation row, not a foundation chain. And for a foundation row for the waffle stitch, either one, whether the one that I, the way that I modified it or the regular waffle stitch, is a multiple of three. So the first chain two does count as a stitch. Yarn over, go into that first chain. Come through one loop. That makes the bottom chain. And now you're going to create the double crochet. Come through two, come through two. The entire waffle stitch is based on double crochet. Again, go down, go down through, I take two, go under two strands. Make sure that this loop right here is kind of loose for the base chain part. Come through one for the chain and then two for the double crochet. Come through one, come through two, come through two. And we're just going to do, you know, uh, 12 stitches. So we should have 12 stitches, two, four, six, eight, 10, and 12. Chain two. I turn to the right for this. That chain two does count as a stitch. I'm gonna yarn over, go behind, front post double crochet. I'm gonna go behind that front post one row below and do a double crochet. You can see in the back where the skipped stitch is. So we're going to skip that and do two double crochets as normal. And again, going to do a front post double crochet. Come down here, go behind. Double crochet. Two double crochets. A front post double crochet. Two double crochets. Two 
front press double crochet. And then in this last, there's the original chain from the foundation row. That was the loop, chain two. This is the skipped stitch from the front, double crochet. Ooh, that was a big loop, I left wallering it around. And a double crochet. Chain two, turn on the back side. The back side should look like that. That chain two does count as a stitch. So you can see where the back of that front post is receding. It's back in the back, okay? On the top of that one, we're going to do a regular double crochet. Now these two double crochets that were just regular cro double crochets on the front are going to be front post double crochets now. Two front post double crochets. The next was a front, double, front post double crochet. Now it's regular double crochet on the top of it. These two regulars become front posts. We're just working them the exact opposite of how they were worked on the other side. Double crochet on the top, front post, regular double crochet. And then there's the chain two for that first stitch. Going to double crochet on the top of that. Chain two and turn. Okay, so you can see the waffles beginning to take shape. Now I'm going to put this aside. I've already done the bait, the foundation row uh, to do the, to show you the modified waffle stitch. It's the same, but with both methods, it's the same. Okay, so. This is where the difference happens. There's, it's only a slight one. So, first one counts as a stitch. I'm gonna do a front post extended double crochet. I've seen it called uh, something else I don't recall, but extended uh, double crochet is, uh, I think that's the name that was given to it in a book, the book where I first saw it. So anyway, just like regular double crochet, Go behind or front post. Get your yarn. Gonna come through only one loop. And then come through two, come through two. Okay. So some it's I believe the it's the same length as a triple crochet without two yarn overs. And then two double crochets on the top. Same. Same, same. And again, one yarn over, front post, come through one loop, come through two loops, come through two loops. And then again, double crochet, double crochet, extended, come through one, two, two. Extended, Front post, one, two, two. Double crochet, chain two, turn, it's the same. The back, double crochet, extended front post, double crochet. That's the only change that I made between the two, is the extended double crochet rather than the extended front post double crochet rather than a regular front post double crochet. That is a mouthful. But I'm going to show you why, because speed was the factor for me when I was uh, working to get 
uh, fast patterns for pocket scarves before Christmas. And I'm going to show you the difference that I had and why this was faster for me and create this work even with that extra loop okay have that extra that extra let me undo this one even with okay I'm only wrapping my yarn same as a regular even with this this is the only thing that's extra grabbing one and coming through that is extra for each stitch even though it made a bigger fabric I was concerned because like I said time was huge concern and then whenever I went back to chain two and turn regular waffle stitch I'm gonna lay that there this is the original swatch with regular double crochet turn whenever I do a front post double crochet the way the yarn is pulling back this way and I go to go through the stitches it's awkward for me I have to turn my hook more than I normally would to do a double crochet okay let me show you. okay so see how this is sitting right here and for my hook to go through everything's pretty lined up and again this loop the center loop comes through comes through now with the front post double crochet when it comes to that center loop it's pulling more to the back see how that right there is to the back so this is the I'm back to the modified swatch and what I was showing was the difference in hand motion let me finish up this row chain two and turn that whenever I do there's a regular double crochet I'm on the back side now and this would be a modified one hello Colo excuse me gonna go down come through one now whenever you look where's my light when you look down in here this is back up at the height and realigned so that it's a regular double crochet just by bringing it up that little bit okay this loop brings everything back in line just like any other double crochet so I'm not getting that I don't need to do that extra twist motion to get it to the rear to match um, the, sh the loop being skewed up toward the regular height whenever I do a regular front post double crochet see how it's skewed toward the back and higher so if I do that that brings it up to all of the stitches and my needle up to my hook up to the same height as any other double crochet and then it just goes much more smoothly just without grabbing anything so I found it to be substantially faster and then I'll show you a couple of other things here in just a second where it really is comparable in every way I've made two really small squ swatches here with a plan okay this let's see this one here this is a normal waffle stitch and this is the uh, modified waffle stitch I'm gonna, the idea here is I wanted to find out which one uses I'm gonna leave that until I pull it out all right more yarn so I'm gonna pull this out
and if it's bang for your buck. Okay, this is a regular waffle stitch. Huh, right at 10. Uh, this is two feet, so that's 20 feet. Get about three. So it is six feet. I'm sorry. Six yards, two feet. And this is with the modified. It was the same number of rows for each one. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm pulling from the right end. Think. Yes. Okay. One. Just over 11 feet and a couple of inches. So, I'm sorry, 11 boards, which is 22 feet. So it used two feet more. Would have been seven yards and one foot um, in that small sampling. And where's a good swatch to judge? These are unblocked, so this is certainly not very scientific, but. Well, there it is. Regular waffle stitch. This swatch measures four by three, about three and a half. And this one measures four, which is, I expected, by uh, almost four. That's about a half inch difference over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. 